Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today it is, what day is it? It is Thursday. I'm just at home today, but I have a few things to do and I thought I would vlog them with you. I actually have a friend coming over later and I really wanna get the house like all nice and cute and cozy and tidy for her. And I thought I would combine it with taking the opportunity to kind of make the house a little bit more autumnal, a little bit more cozy. I'm maybe gonna switch a few things up. I haven't quite decided on what yet. But I have a few little organizational bits to do as well and a few things to open with you. So we're basically like getting ready Ready for autumn today it's not quite autumn yet but we're like getting ready you know so that when it hits i am i'm already prepared so i've been picking up a few bits lately in preparation for that so i will share those with you soon i also have a few things to put on my rail my bed is a mess the rail is empty <laughs> i have a few things to get on there and then i need to pop out and shoot some instagram pics so we're gonna do that as well but yeah i'm really excited to unbox some things with you today i feel like i haven't done that in a very long time there's been a lot of like travely vlogs and out and about kind of vlogs so i'm excited just to sit down and like unbox and stuff also can we all send good vibes for my hair today because last night i washed it and then did not blow dry it didn't do anything and now i just feel like it's very frizzy i have just had to put product on it in between the clips that you saw of me doing my hair and now i've literally just done a few bits around the house and it's already started going like puffy at the bottom so i had to put product on it which after you've started is never ideal so we're just gonna send good vibes for the hair but if there's some faffing today it's because it is first day hair and it's just not doing the good things that you want it to do so i'm just gonna put on some perfume and i thought i'd give you a little let me get the uh get the old uh, finger print marks off of this i thought i'd give you a little perfume update i can't speak today I'm definitely in need of my breakfast this morning i bought two of these ysl fragrances and this one is definitely my favorite the other one changes when it's on me it makes me a bit sad it smells like a bit less coconutty a little bit more rosy not 100 percent my vibe which is really sad because it's such a beautiful scent and i like it when i smell it on other people but on me no no but this I'm obsessed with it like smells like chocolate basically which you wouldn't expect from the name of it but so gorgeous i know you're not meant to rub your hands together but i just did and i can't rewind time so let me live people but yeah little perfume update loving that that is like gonna be one of my number one scents for autumn for sure going to carry on wearing glossier you i actually need to go through my little situation down here which i won't show you because it's really kind of like messy but yeah i need to go through and kind of like pick out the summer scents and like store them away also love this one this is diptyque's eau Dwell, which is like such a vanillary like dark scent so so beautiful then have metal wave i'm really enjoying it at the moment another like very vanillary scent and so affordable if you don't have like the money for like diptyque ysl these will do you just as well this one is like an all-round all year round scent even though it's like a floral i think we're gonna have to pack bronze goddess away it's just not the vibe right now. I'm gonna keep Tom Ford, Tobacco Vanilla, and Lost Cherry. And then Good Girl Gone Bad by by Killian I love. It's like a nighttime orangey vanilla -y scent. I can't smell anything anymore. I think that was what I thought it smelled like, but I actually now can't smell anything. I've gone nose blind. So definitely gonna pack this one away because sadly we don't need this out right now. And I like to store them in a dark place when I'm not using them. As you can see, we've got a lot of stuff out right now. So I am gonna sort this out, but these two are definitely staying out. This one's definitely going. And then I need to assess all of these. Like, do I need them out? I don't know, they are very cute. We'll see. <laughs> staying these are going i think i might need to get a little like tray for all of these because they don't really line up <laughs> that well together so i might just have them like scattered on a little tray somewhere here i think that would be cute okay this situation is much better how cute is this little tray i actually had it in the office on the shelves i'm thinking of bringing it out here just for a season, switch it up a little bit. It's from H&M. It's like a solid, very heavy gray marble. I absolutely love it. And I think it's perfect with all of these fragrances because they're such like dark colors as well. And it also works as a jewelry tray as well, which is really handy because I just had like a jewelry box that was like randomly sitting out. So I think this is gonna work a lot better. Side looks all nice and neat now, which is great. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, 
we have a lot of candles going on we also have my unboxing ready to go we also have all of the sofa cushions which have just been washed but i have made a little point of going around the house and picking up all of the very summery kind of like floral scents that i want to pack away for the autumn i really don't like having too many candles out and they're just like loitering honestly i don't even like notice them until i start looking for them and then i find them everywhere so these are the ones that are going away these are the ones that I am either bringing out or this one has been out, so it's like staying out. So we have the Sunday Luxe Mood 2 candle, which I can't even describe, but it is really beautiful and a really nice like all year rounder, but it makes a great autumnal scent. We have Jo Malone Bitter Orange, which can work for like the festive season, but also works all year round because it's actually very fresh, but still it just has that hint of like, it can work for autumn. And I really want something very fresh for in here. I'm thinking of getting some diffusers for in here as well, because I feel like this space is in need. We then also have of pumpkin pie which is my favorite candle to crack out during the autumn this one's actually from bath and body works i think i got it on amazon which is so strange no regrets over paying a ridiculous amount for this one because it's lasted so well but it also smells so good and it just hasn't gone funky even though i only crack it out like a couple of times every autumn it's like lasted really well so very happy with that also have a little diffuser that i want to get out of my cupboards cupboard Ooh. I've been on the hunt for this one. I can't currently find it, but this is the White Company Fireside Diffuser. It smells so good. So I'm gonna have to crack it out because I actually have company stone. I very rarely have company that don't like come around frequently, like Lauren, Ryan, my mum occasionally. People don't visit me much, but I thought, seeing as I've actually got someone that doesn't, this is the first time my friend Carla has come around this house. I feel very nervous. So I'm gonna crack out the good smells just for her. I also may consider cracking out the big Zara salty caramel diffuser, maybe. But I need to see if they're doing it again this year because otherwise I'll probably save it for a special occasion. But this one, I really hope they bring it back. They've got everything else but the big diffuser in stock. So hopefully it's coming soon. I will buy 10. White Company, please bring it back. This one is giving me full on flashbacks to last autumn. It's so weird how it like immediately like reminds me of like things and like memories. It is so nice, like a real like smoky, sweet scent, but without being too overpowering. It's so, so nice. So here we have the start of my summer to autumn rail. I think by now, hopefully, if I've got my shears together, there should be a summer to autumn transitional outfits video, which will have all of these pieces. I'll link it at the top of the video if you want to go and watch it, if it is live, fingers crossed. But yeah, this is just kind of the start of it. I have a few more bits that I want to pop on it after I've unboxed some things with you. But yeah, this is kind of how it is shaping up at the moment so you will see i think pretty much all of this in the video if you haven't already seen it in a zara haul in the case of this black shirt i will also link that so we have my old trusty bershka leather jacket which i love this zara shirt which literally i loved so much last autumn um summer to autumn this is like the perfect item to have in my wardrobe it's like a very thick heavy shirt i love it so much it's got this kind of like tweed texture to it so very kind of almost chanel-esque it's just got super simple little buttons it works so beautifully with like a pair of white shorts and a new body or with cycle shorts with leggings just throwing over like absolutely anything is great this free people set i have been loving recently and it's going to be great to keep around like the shirt works really well over leggings cycle shorts all of that Good stuff but if we have a few more warmer days i can wear like the full set with just like a little crop or bralette underneath so i'm kind of keeping that out just in case we do get that autumn heat wave i don't know about you guys but here in the uk we've had a really bad summer so there is a good chance we might get a very warm autumn so kind of like not packing everything away too early right now but definitely bringing the autumn bits in to kind of pair with the summer pieces i have this dress from h&m actually i haven't worn it yet i'm not 100 sure if i'm a polka dot kind of gal i will show it to you and you can kind of let me know if you like it i'll do a trial because i got this very recently and i haven't showed it to you guys yet and yeah need your opinion so 
let me know. And then down below we have just a couple of knits. So we've got the cashmere Zara knit, then an And Other Stories knit, and then just a white pair of Topshop Jamie jeans, which aren't my favourite, but I've got them out at the moment just because my favourite white mom jeans are currently in the wash. So just in case I wanted to wear a white pair of jeans, I dug those out. And then I'm probably going to pop some shoes on here once I'm done chatting to you. Okay, so I'm walking around the kitchen and it's starting to smell like my diffuser this is good do you ever have it where you're at that point where you've been between diffusers like your old one is like running super low and your house doesn't really smell of it anymore and you're just like waiting waiting for the diffuser to like be up so that you can switch out the kitchen's been needing some scenting tlc for sure so i have my bits ready to unbox with you i did sneak a peek at a couple of these items at one of the orders like fresh full unboxing but before we get started i wanted to just show you my lip product because i always get so many questions and sometimes i actually forget what i'm wearing on the day and i know it sounds like such a silly thing when someone's like what lipstick are you wearing you're like i genuinely don't know what i was wearing and i never really answer with that because i always think i'm gonna sound really stupid but sometimes i genuinely don't know so it's helpful to me but also for you guys that want to know if i actually just say it in the video so i'm wearing the anastasia beverly hills pure hollywood liquid lipstick today so i have been wearing a crush for quite a while now it's like a really beautiful super neutral pink like it's not very blue toned but it's not very warm toned either i find that i suit like neutral tones the best and this is a very like neutral nude as well like it's not too cool toned it's ever so slightly cool toned but it's not like too warm toned either i have one called naked which is like the warmer version of this if you're looking for something warmer and you, you don't suit tones like this naked will be like perfect but this is an old old favorite of mine i used to wear it all the time and i love it so much so i will link to that in the info box if i can i've been loving those liquid lipsticks at the moment i just think they work the best on me they work the absolute best i don't know why i bother wearing anything else really because i knew i loved these years and years back and they're still great now so that's what's on my lips oh also on my nails i need to talk to you about my nails i went and had my nails done for the first time by someone else by someone else for the first time in 18 months and i cannot tell you what a joy it was such a joy and i went somewhere new which was very scary for me because i get really scared about going to new places and if you're not happy and then just feels like it's a choice of money but i'm really happy with them they are so cute they're exactly what i have been trying to achieve at home but just it's not been it's not been working out for me the first few times i did them like this it went so smoothly and i was so happy and then i don't know what happened i just kept messing it up after that and maybe it's just me getting a bit impatient i'm feeling like i know exactly what i'm doing so i'm trying to not take as long but then i'm rushing it i don't know but yeah so happy i wish i had shown them to you on the day that I got them done because my cuticles looked very very fresh like so perfect i really can't do my own cuticles i try i can't there's something really alien about like pulling your skin off so yeah they're looking a little bit dry today honestly they're, my hands are so dry no matter how much hand cream and oil goes on them they just always have dry bits but they looked immaculate and they still look really good now to be fair so yeah i'm so happy with them i will link where i got them done in the info box because it's like a new little place in brighton kind of like tucked away it's like in the what used to be the thistle hotel i can't remember what it is now if you're looking for similar polishes they're basically the exact same as my like in terms of color as my rimmel polishes but they have lasted so well so i had them done on sunday by now i'd usually be seeing like cracks and chips with like a regular polish but these are gels so i'm praying that we're gonna get some good wear out of these so yeah on to what you all want to see the unboxing okay so first up a couple of things that i need to show you number one honestly i know this isn't going to be for everyone i know leopard print is really not for everyone leopard print honestly is really not for me all the time sometimes i love it sometimes i really don't if i'm honest i think what i don't love is like a very like bright leopard print like a super orangey leopard print unless it's like very of the moment that's not the kind of leopard print i'm ever going to go for because i don't think it necessarily suits me however this has like a very golden Kind of like tone to it on the like more tan part and it's just not very warm it's very cool toned it works really nicely with the black spots and other than that it's very kind of like monochrome so works very nicely with like an all black outfit and i think it suits like my skin tone very very well so it doesn't really feel like 
leopard print, you know. I got it in a size small. So this is from Zara, by the way. I got it in a size small and it was $27.99. It's a really lovely silky material. It has a side zip um, and it kind of has like a dip in the middle. So if you stand to the side, your leg like looks really long, which is quite flattering. And then I also picked up, I'm on the hunt for like the perfect pair of leather leggings, leather trousers. I really want a pair that are a little bit more trouser like so a little bit more of a straight leg which is going to be so hard for me being like slightly vertically challenged but i'm going to give it a go this season i really want to get that like perfect pair of straight legged leather look trousers these are a pair of leggings i don't think they're going to have the same effect but they do have a split back so they're not like super well i don't know if they're gonna be super tight to the legs so they could be like a good option for me we will see they do look quite long though so in the future when you guys are watching this i've probably already ordered a pair because obviously zara stock just changes every single day so there probably is a pair by the time we're all watching this video but then the other item i got was these boots which i'm just obsessed with they're so beautiful they're like square toe which i really like it's very like modern with a really thin block heels they look like really thin from the side like almost like stiletto-y but then the back like it's a thick heel so you've got a lot of heels to balance your weight on which is great i'm hoping they're gonna be super comfortable and i love a sock boot honestly they are just my favorite kind of winter boot if i'm honest i think because they're so like streamlining they're just gorgeous and i love this tone this tone needs to like come back with a vengeance because i loved the days when it was like khaki like trench coats and stuff like that it was very much my vibe next up i ordered a little something from farfetch treated myself this was so cute i'm really hoping it looks cute on me i'm not sure i just never really know with like these little hats but look at how cute this is so we've got a little balenciaga logo hat i really like the tan i really really like the tan i think because my hair is like slightly lighter whenever i wear like black hats it kind of like look it stands out a bit too much white also really stands out whereas i think sometimes it's nice if it kind of almost blends like i always think people with really dark hair look good really really good when they wear like everyone looks good when they wear hats you know but people with like very very dark hair when they wear like really dark hats it really suits them it kind of like blends a little bit with their hair and people that are like very blonde look good with really really like light colored hats on whereas i would just always really struggle I really, really struggle. I'm gonna give this a go. I don't know if this is like the best hair to be uh, trying this out with, but you can let me know what you think. Do we hate it or rate it? It might be a bit too light for my hair color maybe, I'm not sure. Or do I pull it like, this is how I used to wear hats all the time and I really liked wearing hats back then, but I feel like everyone wears like hats like this now and that is not my, no, that is not my vibe. I'm not sure, but I think it could look really cute because I have a lot of coats in these kind of tones. So I just felt like it would go with everything and it's just, very cute i love like a monogram or a logo or whatever i love it yeah i would like it if hats could like become a thing for me again because i used to wear them all the time and they were like my saviors when i had very long hair and i couldn't be bothered to like do much with it if we could all just decide that the hat looks great on me that would be fantastic thank you very much moving on something else that i picked up we have a pair of black converse i've been loving my white converse i got them only a month ago for wilderness just as a pair of like trainers that weren't like my favorite major trainers because i was really worried about taking those and getting them super super muddy and i actually didn't um, end up wearing the converse whilst at wilderness because it was i had to wear my like big chunky boots and i ended up wearing the converse when i got back and i've worn them literally every single day since i got back from wilderness i absolutely love them i took them everywhere with me on all of my trips they have become a staple item in my wardrobe and i used to love wearing them like i used to be a die-hard fan of converse when we were younger everyone like loved vans and honestly my vans took me like four years to break in and it was really sad but converse were my like number one shoe that i knew i could put on they wouldn't hurt my feet and i know some people have the exact opposite where vans are like perfect and then converse murder their feet maybe i just have like weirdly thin feet i don't know i was thinking about the fact that the white pair probably isn't gonna like work with everything throughout the winter if you're wearing like a lot more like black it would kind of stand out like a bit too much sometimes so i decided to get a black pair so that you know the white would pop but it would still kind of like elongate my leg here and at the risk of looking like david tennant when i actually put on a coat with these i'm gonna give them a go i think i'm gonna really enjoy them i'm just gonna like relive my teenage emo years and then we also have a little something that i picked up from new look i know zara is going to come out with something like this and i can't decide which one will be better quality so i'm gonna kind of like compare and see this one has a slight like thread of shimmer running through it which i wasn't expecting i don't hate it if i'm honest it's not super noticeable unless i'm like this 
far away from it which what normal person that you socialize with is going to get that close to your jacket but it's very similar to my favorite white zara jacket it's like a shirt jacket and i just think i would get so much wear out of this so i decided to pick it up it wasn't very expensive either i think it was like 34 pounds it's just so cute I really like it. Yeah, and it would be nice even if we have like a little kind of late heat wave, this can still be thrown over so many little things like a black body and then a pair of like white shorts that will work really, really nicely. I could probably pair it with some boots and then like maybe a dress underneath or something like that as well. Like really easy, lovely styling. I'll show you in full what it looks like on in a minute. And then the one I have been waiting for so long to open. I didn't secretly pop this one open whilst I was waiting to film this video. <laughs> so I have a little white company order to unbox with you all. Let's pray everything made it here safely. I think it needs to be said that I originally went on to the white company website for fragrances and didn't get any fragrances, ended up picking up basically everything, but almost ended up picking up like furniture as well. I was like, what, what am I doing at the moment? But one of the things that I did pick up was this jumper, which is so cute. It's like a really, really light pink, like almost like you wouldn't even necessarily think it was a pink, but you can kind of see if I hold it back here, like that kind of tone. This is really cute little, I believe it's cashmere, yeah. It's called the Cashmere Curved Hem Raw Neck Jumper. I got it in a size medium. It's very pricey because it is cashmere, but I thought it would be so cute. A really nice one to layer under bits through the autumn and winter season. I also, this might be slightly premature, guys, so roll with me. I thought this one was really cute, and sometimes you have to pick up the really cute things when you see them, because if you wait and come back for them later, they will not be there. That is what I have learned. This is actually a different, a very different tone to what it looked like on the website. It's coming off on camera the same tone as I thought it would be, but it actually looks very different in real life like more of a brownie tone but yeah so i thought this would pair really nicely under this little padded gilet and i love a gilet i got on it so well with my little black one that i had from zara last year it didn't have a hood though whereas this one does have a hood it's actually got like a fuzzy lining on the inside as well but yeah i thought this would be a really nice one for like going into autumn winter without having to like throw on like a full-on coat i love like my lighter kind of like duster coats like the wool coats that have like the tie waist love all of those but if i wanted like a hood but i didn't want to be like too hot I think this is perfect because it's not like my huge winter coats which are kind of similar a similar style but then have like the sleeves it's sleeveless so i can just wear like a jumper underneath like i could throw it on over what i'm wearing right now and it's such a cute color like i just love that neutral it's so sweet it's got a fur lining to the hood on the outside as well just really really cute so it is one of those ones where it feels a bit early right now because right now i can just go out in like a jumper and jeans but i just know that things are gonna like change very, very quickly. And I'm quite busy over the course of like September, October. So I kind of wanted to just start picking up a few bits here and there ready for in case the weather does change quite dramatically. Knowing my luck, it will change the complete opposite way, but I'm also ready for that. In addition to those, I also picked up some kitchenware. I love the White Company kitchenware. I thought these bowls were so cute. They're like a, they're just like a white bowl, but they're kind of like really uneven, look almost like handmade. And there's a slight, like they're smooth, but you can see there's a, like a slight bumpy texture to them. Just really, really pretty, really nice and simple. I picked up a couple of pasta bowls because I just eat so much pasta. And honestly, I don't trust myself with a plate. I honestly very rarely eat off a plate because bowls are just supreme in my opinion. They also do gray ones as well and I would really like to pick up like a couple of gray ones and like have them like mix and match. I think especially in this kitchen that would be so cute. And then finally, I picked up this bowl. I actually have one of these already. I eat my cereal out of it almost every single day and I decided to get another one. They're actually like oven dishes. Like you can like do make a crumble or something like <laughs> crumble. Obviously I go to crumble. You can like bake a crumble or like a pasta bake or something like that in them. But I also use them as like regular bowls and I literally adore them. I think I'm just gonna start my like white company kitchenware collection because I've wanted to for ages and it's time people, it is time. And then finally, I just thought I'd show you, like these are really like nothingy items really, but I thought I'd show you because I'm actually already wearing one of the items and I really recommend it. It's a really nice thick body and I picked up a couple of them. So I have a gray one. These are bodies from Pretty Little Thing. Just really like inexpensive, but I know I will wear them like over and over. And I've actually found long sleeve bodies really hard to like find in stock at the moment, especially ones that are like good, 
quality like thick especially with colors like this i often find they're just so sheer even with the black like i really just didn't want to have to wear a bra or something under it because you can just about kind of see through i just didn't want that awkwardness i wanted something like nice and thick and these ones looked like you know bang on what i was looking for i picked them up in a size eight and i can confirm they are very very nice and thick if you want to be like held in a little bit more and you don't want to wear a bra with them i would always go a size down and with these i think i could have done a six if i wanted that like real like super super tight fit but these are just like a really nice like comfortable fit but i definitely feel like i do sometimes need to wear a bra with them they're not like like the skims ones i always feel like they really hold me in unfortunately i cannot find the colors of the ones i want in stock anyway yeah i picked up two of the black and then one of the gray and i'm tempted i think there was a white and i'm tempted to pick that up now because i know the thickness white is always such a gamble honestly guys now is the time to like stock up on your basics because otherwise they disappear but yeah that is everything i got i will show you everything on me now but yeah definitely check out the summer to autumn styling video because that will have everything like fully styled up and there's just gonna be so many lovely outfits in that as well so this is the leopard print skirt i love this so cute so so cute looks really good with the black body and then these are the green boots absolutely loving them they are so cute i really like them i love a sock boot so much and then these are the leather leggings i just wish they came up a little bit shorter because then they would actually be like the perfect kind of trouser i'm looking for like if they were like here so they're just like just a tiny bit straight leg but they are actually just really nice as like a skinny leather trouser to be honest they fit really well i got a size small i believe yeah so small i really like them what do we think they're very very comfortable and i really like the fact that they're a zip up like they just felt like they went on really easily they're not elasticated so i didn't have to like quake them over my hips they actually fit my hips really well these could be a keeper and then this is the shirt jacket in full i've just popped it on with the leather trousers i really like this i was really sad this time last year i just had the bob cut in which i know we all love the bob i know some of us would like it back but it really just didn't work for like if i wanted to wear a shirt jacket a shirt jacket open especially it felt really like it didn't really work as the bob got longer so i was like fighting with the collar and it didn't sit right it was so annoying so basically everyone was wearing shirt jackets last autumn and I just couldn't really wear them as casually, like I had to like belt them and make them like a real dress kind of thing. Very happy with this, but I am going to see if any more come out on the high street and I will compare just because there is that thread running through it, but I do really like it. Who knows, I might just decide that this one is it and not compare to any others, but yeah, if Zara come out with one, I probably will just have a look because I know I love my white one from there so much, but I thought this one was worth taking a look at when i saw it on new look yeah let me know what you think would you return because it has like the gold thread running through it like i don't even know if you guys will be able to see it you can kind of see that it's like sticking out on the top half of the shirt and this is the gray body which does actually work really nicely with the leather look trousers so who knows i might not just wear this for like more casual loungy occasions really really happy with this so this is the white company jumper as you can see it is a little bit see-through which is a bit annoying yeah i'm not even wearing like a particularly dark bra under this it's like a very similar tone but like a grayer version of this and you can still see it through the jumper which i'm not loving i'm not gonna lie i'm not loving but it is very cute maybe i'll find something similar but that has a slightly thicker knit to go under the gilet if i like it i'm gonna try them both together and we'll see because if i don't like both then they'll both go back but yeah it's really cute I really like how slouchy it is. I think I went to a medium just so I had a little bit of extra kind of like room in it. But yeah, just not sure on how like fine a knit it is. It's been a while since I've worn a hood like this. What do we think, you guys? Can you let me know, please? Because I'm actually really undecided. I'm not sure. This would be great if there was like one of those little kind of like stringy bits that go around the waist and like, I don't know, maybe cinch it in a little bit. I feel like it goes out here, which is kind of weird. Yeah, you can see it kind of like dips in and then was kind of odd to me i'm gonna to have to make this slightly quick because the sun is coming out and i'm gonna get very warm in this very quickly part of me loves it and then part of me is like we can do better so i think i should always listen to my gut and try and do better but it is very cute it's very cute i love the color i love the combo of this jacket and then the slightly like pinky off-whitey kind of knit it's very very cute if everyone could vote that would be great
Hello everybody, I have spent this morning in the room of doom sorting out my summer clothes. I have them down here in a vacuum sealed bag. It was actually very painless because I kind of kept on top of things over spring and summer. It does help that the wardrobes, can you see the wardrobes? Those wardrobes were only installed in what the spring, so it's been very easy to keep on top of them. However, we have had a slight mishap with the wardrobes and one of the doors has come out of line and basically I need DIY right to come in and sort it out. So it's not looking its best in there. I've taken a few bits like my jeans out of that wardrobe just to kind of like try and balance the weight out a little bit. So my rail is looking very full, but up till about here is stuff for Depop. So that will be coming very soon. I'm also next week when i get my like autumn jumpers out from storage i'm gonna go through and maybe put a few things that are like more autumnal on my depop as well so there'll be like a whole range of things to have a look at if you want to go and have a look at those so i'm excited to do that i'm really looking forward to giving what is left in the wardrobe like the real like classic pieces that i just always have out and i don't really ever put in storage i'm excited to kind of like mix them in with my autumn stuff give everything a little zhuzh and just have everything feeling very fresh and like I think it's good to go through your wardrobe sometimes and like take bits out, put bits in and like restyle everything. So then you feel really excited about the stuff that you do have. And I'm gonna do that this season before we get like too heavily into autumn and I see like other autumn things that I want and actually like I have enough clothes. I've also left a few bits out. So I'll probably just take a few bits out of the wardrobe and put them into storage later in the month, kind of closer to October. But for now, I just wanna leave a few bits out as well, just in case we do get some really warm weather. I'm thinking it's just going to stay fairly mild but like at the moment I can happily just go out in like jeans and a body so I'm kind of going to stick with that for this month and I just get the sense that I'm not going to need like summer dresses and stuff like that but I've left a few bits out that are lighter just in case but that feel like seasonally appropriate so they could work for both like real summer to autumn transitional like dresses shorts that kind of thing all of the like very summery looking stuff all of the like linen and things like that or well, the majority I would say of the linen I think there's probably a few bits that have stayed but the majority of those are in here i always had a big shoe sort out as well and rejig that which you have seen which feels very good so yeah it's all feeling very fresh in there and once we are back on depop next week which i'm very much looking forward to things will start to look a little bit more organized in there and really come together but i feel like the whole house because i kind of went round and like judged everything yesterday is really coming together the only things i really need to do now before the weekend are iron my sofa cushions because I wash them. Just trying to keep in like that routine because obviously it's a white sofa. So I washed them, they washed fine, but you do have to iron them after. Really boring. So I'm kind of putting that off, if I'm honest. I also need to go and do a food shop. So I'm probably gonna prioritize the food shop because I prefer food shopping to ironing a hundred times over. I'd even take like a Saturday peak hours like food shop over ironing. So yeah, that has been my morning, but the house is feeling really nice and fresh. Like everything feels so clear and like airy and it smells incredible oh i also got a couple more of the fireside diffusers last night they came into stock they actually don't appear if you click on like the fireside range but i found the full size diffusers i was just like going through some bits and i found them like right at the bottom of a the page they are there i was like yes ordered two have no regrets like every time i stand at the island honestly just smells so incredible in here so so good so i'm very very happy about that the garden as well has also had a little <laughs> summer to autumn but transitional makeover we literally have like maybe some i think there's one tomato left on a plant in the veg bed and that is it I'll, sh I'll show you it's looking really sad don't judge me that is it you guys it is looking really sad we have a lot of like very unhappy end of summer plants going on out there last week i literally stripped all of the kale out all of the broccoli it was like so done it was like flowering and everything it started to flower whilst i was away so i couldn't keep on top of it and it had just grown so out of control so i actually i'm not showing you this but i have a huge pile of kale at the back of the garden not cute that whilst doing all the trips has been very very hard to keep on top of so i think this raised bed for next year like this autumn i think it's autumn i'm gonna plant a load of like bulbs like really gorgeous bulbs that can kind of do their thing in the springtime i definitely need to learn more about bulbs but that is kind of like my plan just make it a really lovely flower bed maybe some like lavender in there as well and some sage and like kind of match it up to the other veg bed but because it's a raised bed it will probably be one that we can actually like pick at. So yeah, feeling very ready for autumn now. The house is ready. I am personally ready. Starbucks, when I went in there yesterday, had pumpkin spice everything, so they are ready. They actually have a cookie, a pumpkin spice cookie, which I really want to try because it's plant-based. 
so so buzzed about that so we are already i'm feeling so organized and so good i highly recommend not i know there's a lot of you that are like we have not had a summer i don't want to do this yet i don't want this and i fully respect that because i agree it's been a bit of a pants summer we all kind of knew that that was going to happen but having a little refresh not actually being autumnal yet because i'm not ready for the jumpers i'm not ready but kind of like get just getting ready getting prepped like getting that wardrobe slightly like clear ready for your knits it feels good it feels really good seeing that like huge amount of space in the wardrobe ready for like i need to actually decide how i'm gonna do knits i actually have in the um, this is such a long chat i'm so sorry for bored i actually have extra shelving which i ordered for the wardrobes because i wasn't sure how i wanted to set them up when i first got the wardrobes i have extra shelving and what i'm tempted to do is swap once the wardrobe has been fixed by diy right i'm tempted to instead of a bottom rail do a couple of shelves that i can then put my extra knits on and then all of my jeans because i really want to focus more on denim for this autumn winter so i'm thinking of having a rail on top and then some shelving or maybe a rail and then some shelving in there. i'm not sure but something like that because i don't really want to take away from the bag storage that's up the top of the wardrobe also if it's up the top and it's knitwear i won't wear it because i can't see it like it's not in my eye line yeah i'm thinking of having like a full wardrobe kind of like switch around so let me know if you would like to see that i also just realized that i forgot to show you my finished rail i am loving how this looks like if i when i rejig the wardrobe can make my wardrobe kind of feel like really cute like this then i will be so happy because this is just giving me like all the autumn vibes i've popped my green boots my knits my converse on the bottom of the rail it all just looks so neat and tidy as well which is so satisfying and i'm just kind of working from this at the moment like there's really nice like key items that i then mix with my basics and it's just working perfectly for right now and then also have my finished fragrance tray i kept adding to it yesterday but this is kind of where i've settled at with my fragrances for autumn so we have sleek suede i'm just going to give you a full rundown of all of these because i like fragrances and i know lots of you like them too like i've seen today a couple of you have bought this you bougie human beings i think you're gonna love it i hope you love it so this one smells like chocolate coffee and smokiness whereas this one is very similar but smells like like vanilla and smokiness <laughs> you can tell the kind of fragrances i like we then have tom four velvet orchid which is like a sweet floral dark scent this one is just more like vanilla-y slightly like fresher but still very dark but not smoky so if you like vanilla but you don't want like a smoky kind of base to it that one is amazing so that's diptyque code well we then have metal wave by all saints which is basically like kind of like these two and a bit like this actually but just a bit softer and a bit more everyday this one always smells amazing it's just a very like sweet vanilla-y kind of like chocolatey fragrance but without the smokiness it's really really lovely very like soft but not too light that it just gets a bit lost so really lovely and very affordable another lovely affordable one this one is more of a strong sweet floral and i'm really loving it ryan is always obsessed with this when i wear it so I decided to add this one onto the tray. It looks very, very cute as well. I love how like Hollywood vibes the bottle is. It makes me really happy. It's such a beautiful fragrance. So like very different to the others, but I just really love like having a little bit of variety. So that's going to be my floral fragrance for the autumn. I have just ordered a white company tray, like a circular one. And I'm going to see if that would look better like in the center here. And it would blend a little bit better with the surface and then this one could go back in my office but if not i'll keep this one in here because it is very cute and does work nicely with all of the very dark fragrances also i forgot to add my very autumnal bag choice to the rail there we go she is complete oh my god you guys look at what i managed to get my hands on in sainsbury's today i have been looking for this everywhere for like i think it's the whole of august i was like i think it was august this came out it's now september so i don't know how this is still on shelves but I'm so happy. Look at Victoria's little face. Yay, very happy because this has been really hard to get hold of. Also picked up some cute little flowers for the coffee table. I think these ones are gonna be really nice once I kind of like tease them all into place.
Can we just take a moment for these please because these are something else. Honestly, I've developed quite a good snack selection lately, so if anyone needs any vegan snack recommendations, I am your girl. I am I am the pro. Well, second pro after Ryan, but have a more edited selection and it's very good. Anyway, good morning everybody. Today is Monday. I kind of cut the vlogging off last week. I get to, I don't know if anyone else is having this and I think it's not just me because I've spoken to a few people, but did anyone just hear the squeak? Why does my mouth do that? So weird. I've spoken to quite a few people and I get to like 4 p.m. and I'm genuinely ready for a nap. I obviously don't nap because who has the time for that? But like so, so tired. I definitely need like vitamins or something. But I'm really struggling at the moment and I've heard a few people say the same thing as well. So yeah, like after four in the afternoon, you're getting nothing from me. I'm gonna crack on today and do a lot of vlogging before it hits 4 p.m. I just wanted to come on here and say, well, firstly, I wanted to say lol at the fact that I have started a getting ready for autumn video. And this happens every year. This actually happened this time last year. Later in September, I did a getting ready for autumn and then we had a heat wave and it's happened again. But I think these videos make the heat wave. So if it's okay with you, I'm just going to carry on making these videos about autumn like once a month so that we get some good weather. It's basically like a rain dance, but for like summer weather, apparently. It's a little bit warm this week. I am doing all right though. I've got the same outfit on that I kept out because I knew there would probably be some warm weather and this outfit is like perfect but isn't like super summery and works really well in with my autumn wardrobe as well so it's literally just the shorts that are like summery and I'm just going to keep them out forever because I actually love them best shorts I've bought hang on I need to close close the window it's a little bit noisy I kind of knew it was coming I'd said I'm sure we're going to get a late September heat wave <laughs> beginning of September heat wave, whatever. I was close. But yeah, I'm gonna leave you here. I'm vlogging again today and there's gonna be a whole separate video. I have to pop into town. I may do some shopping, who knows? So check back on Thursday because you'll probably see what I get up to then. But yeah. Oh, by the way, look at how cute this is. My little roses from the garden. They're so pretty. So pretty next to my little fireside diffuser. I ordered two more of these. I'm thinking I may need more. It smells so good. Like I forgot how good it smells. It's literally delicious. Even Ryan walks in here and he's like, oh, what is that? I'm like, this. So let's hope there's still some available on the website by the time this video goes up. But yeah, me and my little roses are gonna love you and leave you. I hope you're all having a great day and you enjoyed this video. It might feel slightly unseasonal right now, but it will age like a fine wine over the next week, so let me live. Yeah. Are you excited for autumn? Are you like, please, Susie, please, no, let me know. But yeah, I love you all lots. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.